Hello folks, I'm Abfielder and today we're going to be taking a look at how we can utilize cloud storage so that if you play Minecraft on different computers or even just different instances of Minecraft, then your Lightmatics will stay fully synced across the lot. Even if you just use a single instance, then this video will be helpful. By using cloud storage, then you won't lose your Lightmatic if your hard drive dies, and they do. So before we get into that, if you're looking for the best place to download and share Lightmatics, then head over to abfielder.com, over 500 Lightmatics and counting. And while I'm at the advertising stage, episode two of my desert only series is out now. I'll put a link to that in the top right hand corner and the description below. It's fantastic, if I do say so myself. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe and consider comment. They all really, really help the video and I hugely appreciate them. So here I am in one of my test worlds, and if I hit the M key to open the Light Massacre menu, then head into Load Schematics, this is my wonderfully organized schematics folder. As I said, there are three problems with this by default. The Lightmatics don't follow me across my different game instances. If I switch between computers, then I have to manually copy them between the computers. And if my computer, for whatever reason, dies, then I'll lose them. By using cloud storage, we can fix all three problems. Lightmatics are pretty small, so any free cloud storage provider will do. Microsoft OneDrive or Google Drive, as I'll be using in this video, for example. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how we set this up. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna assume you've already got cloud storage. OneDrive on Windows should be there by default. The others you will need to install. Google Drive, just go to Google, search for Google Drive, install it like you would any other app, and then come back to this video when you've got it. So on the left here, I've got my Google Drive storage, and on the right, I've got my Minecraft instance that we'll come back to in a moment. But in the Google Drive storage area, what I'm gonna do is right click in a blank bit of space, go to new, and then to folder. Windows 10 will look a little bit different, but the process is the same. That's gonna create me a new folder, give it a nice name, Minecraft Schematics, and hit enter. And the blue icon there means that it hasn't synced yet. The green icon is when it's synced, but double click so you are inside that folder. And then I'm gonna show you how you would get your Minecraft folder. So click on the address bar, do percent app data percent, and hit enter. Dot Minecraft is probably gonna be the one that you see unless you have created more like I have. So what you would do is just double click on that. What I'm gonna do is go into this folder because it's where all my schematics are. And then in this folder, you will have a whole bunch of other folders. You're looking for your schematics folder and you just wanna double click on that. And this is what you see in Minecraft. Now, if you wanted to select the whole lot and move them over, what you would do is click on any one, doesn't matter which one and then do control plus A, and that selects the entire lot. Right click on any of them, doesn't matter which one, and then you wanna click on your icon for either cut or copy. Now cut will remove them from here when you do the paste, copy will just copy the whole lot, and when you do paste, it'll leave this instance here. I'm just gonna select one for now and do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna copy, and then over here, I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna click paste. There we go, that's in my cloud storage now. The icon is blue because it hasn't synced yet. It will update shortly and go green, he says. Go on, it's a small little file, shouldn't take long, there we go. We're nearly done here. What we actually need to do now is get the path of this folder here. So what we're gonna do is go back up one level. We're gonna right click on this file. Now, I can't remember on Windows 10 if this will appear by default. If it doesn't, then all you need to do is shift right click and it will definitely appear. Click on copy as path. Now go to your Minecraft instance. Now I'm already in the menu, so I'm just going to come out of it here. I'm going to hit the M key and I'm just going to prove to you that this is all still what it was before. Now we know in my cloud storage, I only have the one file. What I'm going to do is go back out to the main menu here, and then we're going to go into configuration menu. Make sure you select generic, scroll down to the bottom, and we've got custom schematics base directory, and this is set to the default folder. Do control plus A again, and just do delete from there so it's blank, and then do control V. Now, the only thing you need to be wary of here is it puts some quotes in. We need to remove those, so just use the backspace key to remove it, and then go to the start and remove that one as well. Click in a blank bit of space over here, and then escape out. Hit the M key, 
and then go to your load schematics, you'll see this hasn't updated. That's okay, don't worry about it. Go up to the top here, this left hand icon that when you hover over says to root stroke base directory, click on that and then boom, it's updated and everything is now in the cloud. One other thing, if you have got multiple instances or what have you, you do need to set that for each instance or if you're on a different computer, you'll need to set that on a different computer. I'm going to show you a little bit of a shortcut here. If we go back to the folder on the right hand side here, go up a level, go into config. We've got a bunch of config files here. You want the lightmassacre.json file. If I just open this up for now, just to show you, this has all your key binds and things that you've set stored in the config file. As you can see, it's got our, uh, our cloud storage set there. You can just copy this folder to the config folder, either on your other computer or the config folder for your other instance, and that will set everything up for you and save you a little bit of time. Anyway, folks, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, as I said, like, comment, subscribe. And anyway, folks, that's all I have time for. I'm Ab Fielder. Goodbye.